Hola! In this video, we're going to delve into what I think is one of photography's pivotal moments in history. And I'm talking about the debate between Magnum, the famous photography agency, and the British photographer Martin Parr, around the time when he got nominated to join this agency. And I want to talk not just about the who's and the why's of the debate, but also about the repercussions and the implications this debate has to this day for us, photographers and artists in general. But before we go any deeper, first, let me give you a brief introduction of what is Magnum and who is Martin Parr. Magnum Photos is a cooperative agency that was founded in 1947 by four photographers, including Robert Capa and Henri Cartier-Bresson. Their aim was to create a space for independent photojournalists to share their work and have more control over the distribution and sale of their images. Magnum quickly became known for its powerful and socially conscious photography, covering events such as wars, revolutions, and political movements. Over the years, Magnum has evolved and expanded, gaining members all over the world and covering a diverse range of subjects. But at its core, the agency remained committed to the principles of documentary photography and the importance of telling stories that have a social impact. Enter Martin Parr, a British photographer born in 1952, who became known for his candid and often satirical depictions of modern life. His career as a photographer began in the early 1970s, primarily documenting the working-class culture of Northern England. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Parr continued to explore this theme, producing a large body of work that would eventually become some of his most well-known photographs. His unique style, characterized by his use of bright colors, flash photography, and a direct approach, combined a dry sense of humor with a sharp eye for detail. As I said, Magnum was known for his impactful and socially conscious photography, but by the time Martin Parr was considering to join the agencies around the 1990s, this raised questions about the agency's values and the direction of documentary photography as a whole. Should photography solely focus on social issues, or could it be used also to reveal much deeper truth about beauty and even the mundanity of life? Some members of Magnum believe that Parr's focus on everyday mundane activities was trivial and not worthy of being documented. They believe that documentary photography should focus on the most pressing social issues of the day, such as war, poverty, and political unrest in general. Other members of Magnum also argue that Parr's work lacked empathy towards his subject, or that it was too focused on shock value or humor. On the opposite side of the spectrum, there were members who recognized the value of Parr's unique perspective and felt that his work would be a great addition to the agency. In general, Parr's unconventional style challenged the agency's more formal and restrained approach to photography. And this, of course, highlighted a much bigger debate within the field of photography about the purpose and function of the medium itself. What made Parr's work so groundbreaking was how it found beauty and complexity in the mundane. His style brought a fresh and vibrant energy to documentary photography, and his ability to find humor and irony in everyday situations was also seen as a powerful tool for revealing the complexities of modern life. Ultimately, Martin Parr's acceptance into Magnum represented a turning point in the history of photography, a moment in which the established norms were challenged and new opportunities arose. At its heart, the debate was about the nature of photography itself. Was photography simply a means of capturing reality as it is? Or was it a tool which we could use to expose deeper truth and meaning in the world? Was it a form of art? Or was it a form of journalism? Or maybe could it be both? This is why I believe that we as photographers can learn from this by embracing the richness and diversity of the medium, always trying to learn new techniques and approaches to the photography that we do. But above all, the debate between Martin Parr and Magnum teaches us that photography can be a very powerful and transformative tool, capable of revealing to us more than what's available at the surface level. It reminds us that the most powerful images are not simply the ones that capture what is at the surface level, but those that delve deeper, that challenge our assumptions and prejudices, and that help us see the world in new and profound ways. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, my first video in English ever. 
I hope you enjoy learning as, about this topic as much as I did. And of course, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. As usual, give this video a like and share it with your friends if you find value in it. And why not even subscribe to the channel? Until next time, peace.